Hello everyone, my name is Joseph and welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. This video is sponsored by ptcglstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Thank you guys so much for your support and for your supporting ptcglstore.com. In today's video, I'll be showcasing Miascarada EX from the Paldea Evolved Expansion Set and we'll be using the Orbital Engine. Miascarada EX has a decent 310 HP allowing it to tank some hits. It has the ability Bokeh Magic. Once during your turn, if you discard a basic grass energy from your hand, you can put 3 damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. This ability is really good for taking out lower HP Pokemon, but it's also good for spreading damage which is a great setup for its attack, Scratching Nails. For 2 colorless energy, it deals 100 plus damage, but if your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack deals 220 damage instead. The attack damage output in combination with damage counter spread, you're looking at dealing some serious damage against your opponent's Pokemon. Since Meowskarada EX is a stage 2, I'll be utilizing Orbeetle with the Evomancy attack. Depending on how many energies are attached on Orbeetle, you can search your deck for that many stage 2 Pokemon and put it straight to your bench. Orbeetle though is a high risk high reward setup and by focusing on Orbeetle as the main engine, the probability of winning a game greatly depends on how well you can have Orbeetle to set up all of your stage 2 Pokemon on your bench. And majority of the times we'll be starting the game with Blipbug to evolve into Orbeetle. Thankfully though, we also have this Luxray with the Explosiveness ability. When you're just setting up to play at the beginning of a game, if this card is in your hand, you can actually start with this as your active Pokemon just as you would normally with a basic Pokemon. And its attack is very useful. For just one colorless energy, Seeking Fang not only deals 50 damage, but you can also search your deck for up to 2 trainer cards and put them into your hand. With this attack, you can find the cards you need to help evolve your Orbital. And if you happen to get behind on prize at the beginning of the game, you may even be able to use reversal energy on Orbital so that you can have access to 3 energies right away. But we also have access to double turbo energy to act as 2 energies when you need it. So once we've set up our Orbital, we can now put multiple stage 2 Pokemon into play. It is important to note however that your stage 2 Pokemon must be in the deck for Orbital to set it up, which is why Iono is an important supporter card for this build. The best combination that I've found for Meowskarada EX are with these Pokemon. First I have Inteleon with a quick shooting ability, once during your turn you can put 2 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. This is great for setting up for Meowskarada's attack to increase its damage. Second is Archeops with the Primal Turbo ability, which lets you accelerate up to 2 special energies from your deck to one of your Pokemon. We'll need this to accelerate energies to Meowskarada EX when we need it. Third is Gallade with its Buddy Catch ability, allowing you to search your deck for one supporter card and put it into your hand. And fourth is Florges with the Blooming Garden ability, so that our Pokemon in play will have no weakness. With all of these Pokemon working together, Meowskarada EX becomes a very strong offensive card. Just keep in mind that if your HP gets low, you can use Cheryl to full heal all of your evolution Pokemon. I did add one copy of Roseanne's backup supporter card just so we have an option to recover one of our special energies, along with a Pokemon, a tool card, and a stadium. While it can be quite a challenge to use Orbital, if you are successful in your stage 2 setup though, your Meowskarada EX can deal some serious damage while spreading damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete decklist in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Meowskarada EX. Okay, so we won the coin flip. We are going first and I did have to take a few mulligans here, but I will start with this hand. I have Luxray to put in my active spot. I have Level Ball to find my Blip Bug and also an energy to attach to my Pokemon so I can even attack with Luxray on my second turn. Got an Iono from our top deck, but we're gonna set up our Blip Bug first. You know, it's always good to note if you have one or two Blip Bugs, because um, just in case they target your benched one, you can try and set up another one if you need to. So we're going up against a Miraidon EX, Regilucky V Max build. So this, this is a pretty straightforward uh, build, I think. And for the most part, I think these types of build go for an all out EX and V Pokemon. So the the, stra the whole strategy for this uh, this build is actually pretty, pretty fast. They just set up a bunch of Pokemon on their bench thanks to Maridon's ability and 
they're just a bunch of attackers. An electric generator will accelerate energies to their Pokemon. Looks like they found one. Two on Raikou V already on their very first turn. And going second, I think it's very powerful on this type of uh, build because they can attack with Raikou V for a lot of damage on their very first turn. They also have Forest Seal Stone allowing them to find any card from their deck. And yeah, Electric Generator is just a big upgrade to a lot of lightning type builds, which is pretty crazy. They found another energy onto their Miraidon EX. Forest Seal Stone on their Regilaki V. And they could choose to use it now because all they have to do is get their Regilaki V out of the active spot and they, they can attack with Raikou V. Yeah, so it looks like that's what they're doing. Probably a, like a switch or something. Or an energy. Okay. And another electric generator. Dude. <laughs> They got three electric generators on their first turn. That is crazy. All right, so they're gonna hard retreat onto Raikou V, and they're gonna use the ability Fleet Footed to draw one card, and they're gonna attack. 140, bro. Okay, Luxray survives an attack. That is pretty crazy. All right, that high HP of Luxray really helped out in this one because we we really don't have any way to evolve into Orbital this turn yet. So. Just gonna use Iono for now. That helps us to draw six cards. And we got a rare candy, no Orbital though. And Reversal Energy doesn't count as three. So we're just gonna use it to Luxray for now. And I'm just gonna get a one blip, buck, uh, blip, blip bug backup. And I'm just gonna deal chip damage to the Raikou V. I'll get a right hand and uh, I think I will get an Ultra Ball. We have rare candy in our hand already. I could probably just sacrifice one of my other cards to guarantee an orbital evolution next turn. And we do have energy search in the deck. So we can use Arvin to search for that energy in case we need it. Because we really can't use right hand to accelerate energy. Because we all have special energies on our Pokemon right now, even on Luxray. So, um,. That's, that's the situation we have right now. At least we can evolve into an Orbital next turn, probably get an energy with Arvin, and I can set up at least two Pokemon uh, in my next turn. Also have Blipbug set up on the bench as a backup Orbital uh, for my other turn. So that's my, uh, that, that's my strategy. They also have an Avery. Dude, that's gonna mess us up a little bit. Um, maybe they only have one copy, so I think Maybe we should be okay. Um, pretty sure they're gonna get a knockout against our Luxray. I hope they don't... Uh, I mean, they already used the support card, so they, they're not gonna boss our Dottler. We're gonna be safe for a turn. And then... Uh, the only thing is we can only set up at least two Pokemon on our next turn, because we can only get one extra energy with Arvin. So they're gonna knock out our Luxray. That's their first energy. Maybe we can get reversal energy from our top deck, but that's a long shot. Okay, it's a boss's orders. He set up my blip bug here. And Let's see, I can use Ultra Ball to just discard Inteleon. And I need Arvin. Ryan's gonna be helpful. So boss's orders, my only uh, practical choice to discard gonna evolve into an orbital use arvin to get my energy search so at least i can set up two stage two pokemons this turn right and we are just gonna get a grass energy evil mency for at least two pokemon on our bench uh first thing i gotta do is get archaeops and gallade so what i have in mind here is basically to use uh, to have Gallade to continue to search for our support cards in case we need it. And then Archaeops. On our next turn, if my opponent manages to knock out Orbital, we are going to have that Grass Energy in the discard pile. We can use Right Hand to accelerate onto Orbital. And use Archaeops, accelerate one more energy uh, to our Orbital. 
And then all we have to do is find the other orbital with the right hand. And that's going to help us to set up more stage twos on our bench. We are going to lose two prizes or three prizes at the end of that, but I think it's going to I think it's going to pay off in the long run. Um I was actually thinking about whether or not to play Meowskarada EX in an orbital build because to be honest with you, I think I like the regular version of Meowskarada. I mean, you can just evolve it from a basic Pokemon because you have the option to uh, use Medicham V and get those multiple knockouts and actually be able to use its ability a lot more times. But I'm just going to go for this as my uh, uh, alternative route to a Meow's Karata build. Just put it that way. So I have access to Super Rod. I think I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to get Inteleon back to the deck. Blip Bug and another Orbeetle. We're gonna keep that grass energy so we can use right hand. So I'm just gonna accelerate the one grass energy to blip bug. Get an ore beetle. Right? Yep. Can use rare candy. Evolve it, and then we can use Archaeops. Primal Turbo to accelerate an energy. Uh, let's just get double turbo energy. Onto ore beetle, because we only have three spaces on our bench and actually i'm gonna use buddy catch first and then i'm just gonna grab a boss's orders i think this can help us stall maybe and i'm just gonna use eva mancy and set up my two meows karata and at least one inteleon to put damage counters to our opponent's pokemon all right so this is a pretty typical build we can now use Archaeops to accelerate energies to our Meowth Karata, and then Inteleon to spread damage so that we can set up for that increased damage output using Meowth Karata EX's attack. But they have Avery, no! <laughs> Dude, Avery is so obnoxious, man. Um, the natural enemy of Orbital builds because setup is so hard to do as it is. And with Avery. Okay, so this is a tough decision. Because uh, I can definitely sacrifice one Meowskarada EX. I need Inteleon to spread damage. To increase Meowskarada EX's attack. Um, it's between Archaeops and Gallade. Um, I think I'm going to go for Gallade. As, I'm going to keep Gallade. So I'll sacrifice Archaeops. Gallade is just overall more useful than Archaeops. If you can just find a double turbo energy, all we have to do is keep Meowskarada EX alive and we should be okay. So they're gonna knock out our Orbeetle. Now we are down three prizes, or my opponent is now um, up three prizes. So we're gonna start attacking. Reversal energy we can't use on Meowskarada, so I'm just gonna use Buddy Catch. We have access to one more right hand in the deck. So what I'm going to do is just accelerate this grass energy. And I'll just look for one more energy to be able to attack with our Meowth Karata. I can get either Luminous Energy or Grass Energy. But I think I'm going to stick with just basic energy. And we're going to attack. Knock out this Raikou V. But first, we can use Quick Shooting to spread damage first. And I think I'm going to go for the Regieleki VMAX with the energies. They're, I'm pretty sure they're going to use that to attack as well. So we're dealing 220 damage with Scratching Nails, knocking out their Raikou V. So that's one less attacker we have to worry about. But uh, with two Regieleki VMAX, I'm not sure if they're dealing enough damage to knock out our... Meowth Karata EX, even with 310 damage. Um, their Pokemon actually has the potential to deal a lot of damage. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why I like the regular Meowth Karata. Dude, they're gonna boss. My Inteleon, no! Uh, that's a big deal, because now we don't have any way to spread damage counters, and we're gonna be attacking for just 100 damage every turn 
Um, okay, so this is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, I can go for Super Rod. I can recover Intellion, Meow Skarada, and Archeops, maybe. If we can set up another Orbital line, that would be awesome. So I'm gonna try and do that. Dude, that Avery really messed us up, man. Okay, um. Let's use Buddy Catch. Can go for a Nayono, I think. It's gonna help us to kind of disrupt my opponent's hand for the meantime. Let's use Reversal Energy. Iono. Okay. Um, Palpad is good. I could use Palpad. Let's see, I can get Raihan and a boss. That way, in case they retreat, we could just kind of put them in, back into the active to get a knockout. So, um, for now, I have no other choice, but we do have Bouquet Magic. So, Grass Energy, uh, 3 damage counter on this, because it has an en those energies, so I'm pretty sure they're going to attack with that. And then just 100 damage to their active. On their next turn, we can knock it out, and then uh deal with what, whatever they uh put it in their active spot however meow Skarada ex is in line for a knockout here uh with six extra damage because of the reggie lucky v max i think we're okay because uh miraidon ex is only dealing 230 damage but they're gonna boss my galley dude <laughs> come on man Ah, uh, it's just so aggressive. This this build is just so aggressive. They're gonna go for Ryko V. Fleet footed. Okay, so they're just gonna knock out my galley. Alright, so all we have to do is put our Meowth Karate in the active spot. We have an Iono. Um, put an energy to Blip Bug. I mean, we can't really use Orbital now because they could just knock it out. Alright, so we're just gonna scratching nails to knock out their Raikou V for another two prizes. I mean, Miascarada EX still has full HP, so we could still survive an attack here and maybe get a clutch knockout against their Miraidon EX. We have boss orders, but if my opponent has bosses orders themselves, all they have to do is target our Blip Bug for a quick knockout and just winning the game. So either way, they're going to attack with Miraidon EX uh, with not enough damage. Uh, or enough to increase their damage, but they have Raikou V. If they can put two uh, lightning energies on Raikou V, we're pretty much done for. But yeah, it all comes down to this, guys. <laughs> it all comes down to this. But yeah, Avery really messed us up in this matchup, but we did our best. I think we are okay uh, with only 60 additional damage they're gonna retreat to their Reggie Alaki V Max probably realizing that they cannot knock out our Miascarada EX they just went ahead and retreat but thankfully we have bosses orders we're just gonna boss their Maridon EX scratching nails for the win <laughs> so we still get we managed to get that win from this matchup against Reggie Lucky VMAX and Maridon EX. Well, there you have it, guys. Good game. All right, so I win the coin flip. I am going first, and both of us had to take a mulligan. And, ooh, they're using Temple of Sinnoh. All right, we have to watch out for that because we are using a bunch of special energies in this deck. So we're gonna start with a Luxray in the active spot, which is ideal. Blip Bug on our bench. We also have a basic energy which is great for setting up our right hand. That's gonna help us to find our missing cards 
especially after they knock out one of our Pokemon. Ideally, we want them to knock out our Luxray, if at all possible. So we got a boss orders from our top deck. I think I'm just going to put a basic energy on Luxray and just end my turn here. So my opponent is going to start with an Arceus V in their active spot. Potential problem since it can use Star Birth ability, which can help them find any two cards from their deck. I'm going to start strong with a Battle VIP pass, setting up a Confei and an, a Cramorant. So they are using a Lost Zone uh, engine on this build and they're gonna use Colrus Experiment. Look at the top five cards of their deck. Put two in the Law Zone and three in their hand. Really powerful supporter cards that they're using. Another Battle VIP Pass, okay. And Giratina V. So this is gonna be a very tough matchup for us. Another one! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> so now they have a full bench. Full of amazing Pokemon. Um, sometimes I have four Battle VIP and never see one at the very beginning of the game, which is pretty insane. Escape Rope. They could attack with Cramorant this turn. So we could possibly use uh, lose our Blip Bug on my opponent's first turn. Because uh, on their first turn going second, they can actually attack. So let's see what they do here. Maybe they don't have any way to get enough cards in the Lost Zone. We're going to attach an energy to their Arceus V. Radiant Greninja to draw two extra cards. And they're going to pass. Alright, so Blipbug survives the turn. Very good. Got an Iono. See, if I use Iono, everything is uncertain. I could just use Reversal Energy to retreat Lip Bug to keep it surviving at least for another turn, maybe. And then I'm just going to use Iono, I think. That's going to reshuffle my opponent's hand here. Hopefully disrupt them. Hopefully. But we got a Miascarada in our hand. It's, it's not ideal. But we did get a Mesagoza. Let's go ahead and flip for it. We got Tails, though. And I'm just going to attach this Vitality Band. Seeking Fang. Deal 60 damage to their Confei. We're going to go for another Raihan. And a Rare Candy. So I always get these two. These two are always the typical cards I get with Luxray at the very beginning of the game. So if my opponent manages to knock out Luxray, we can accelerate that with Raihan. Get an Orbeetle. And then if we have a reversal energy, we can use that to put onto our orbital. So that's usually my that's usually my strategy when I uh, use this build. But again, it really depends on what other cards you have in your hand. But right hand and rare candy usually the best ones to start with at the beginning of the game. But my opponent's starting pretty strong here. If they have Double Turbo Energy, an evolution to Arceus V-Star. They can start attacking and energizing their Giratina V. But looks like they're just... I don't know what they're doing. They switch out to Giratina V just to retreat back. Looks like they don't have Arceus V-Star evolution. So they're just going to go for the next best thing. By, by accelerating an energy or putting an energy. So with two energies, they can... Accelerate energies onto their Giratina V. Alright, so now it's our turn. This is uh, looking pretty bad because their setup is going really, really strong here. And with no prizes being taken, uh, our reversal energy becomes useless at this point. So we have to act fast, but we have to do it decisively though. I'm going to go ahead and just discard these two. I can recover Super Rod. Uh, recover those with Super Rod. And... Let's see. I could just prep these. Uh, I'm just going to evolve into Orbital. That's fine. Either way, they could just target it and then just lose this, um, this turn. So I'm going to use Seeking Fang to deal 60 damage to their Arceus V. 
That chip damage could go a long way. I'm gonna go for boss's orders in case I need to stall my next turn and a level ball just so I can set up another orbital line if I need to, especially if they target my benched orbital. We're gonna have to be ready for another orbital setup. But uh, they are stalling pretty well as well. Uh, they have to, or they're trying to evolve into their Garatina V-Stars for sure, to their Arceus V-Star. And we have a lot of HP that we have to go through because 280 HP to all of those Pokemon is a lot of HP to get through. But if we manage to set up our Intellion, I, we have a potential target to their Comfey, which is an easy prize, helping us to uh, kind of catch up a little bit in the prize exchange. Because after this turn, I believe they're gonna be able to deal a knockout blow on one of our Pokemon. And they're gonna use Shred. Okay, so that's enough to knock out our Luxray and that's actually an ideal uh, setup for us. I'd rather they knock out our Luxray rather than Orbital. So with that, um, can recover those Grass Energies, but also Meow's Karata. That way we have two in our line, right? Although I should just leave one for Raihan. So, should I recover Luxray? I don't think I need Luxray. So I'm just gonna go for those two. So now what I could do is just accelerate an energy with uh, our right hand, find another energy in the deck. And then at least we can set up um, reversal energy. I think I'm just gonna use up because grass energy we can use with Miascarada's ability. But after this turn, I don't think Reversal Energy will matter anymore. So with that, we can put five Stage 2 Pokemon on our bench. Two Meow's Karata, um, and I think I'm going to go with Gallade and Inteleon. So Archeops is there to accelerate energies. We also have Iona as a backup, hopefully drawing to a double turbo energy so we can attack. Inteleon to put damage counters to our opponents. Pokemon and Gallade for finding our support cards, whichever one we need. So this is looking strong, but we're not out of the woods yet because Giratina V-Star still has that V-Star attack, which can just instantly knock out our Meowth Karata EX. Despite having 310 HP, it doesn't matter. It could just knock it out in an instant. So now we have a few targets though. We can boss their Arceus V. Uh, that way we can get uh, two prizes for that. And they're gonna discard two energies from their Pokemon. All right, put, no, I'm sorry. They put it in the Lost Zone. So that's the condition of Giratina V-Star's attack. All right, so what we're gonna do is use quick shooting on Gomfei first, that way we can get one prize. Gets us an extra card on our hand. Boss's orders is good. And let's see, I could just boss their Arceus. That's gonna get us three prizes this turn. Primal Turbo. And I'll just get double turbo energy. It's enough to get a knockout here. Uh, 200 damage is what we're dealing, so we are we are looking good. And I'm gonna set up another blip bug, another orbital line, just in case. Buddy catch to get us. Um, an Iono, I think. Yeah, it's fine. We have another one, but that's fine. Scratching nails to get a knockout against their Arceus V, getting us two more prizes. Very nice. All right, Cheryl is really, really great. But my opponent can just use their V-Star power attack and get an instant knockout. <laughs> so, Garagina V-Star is just so strong, man. 280, so amongst its other V-Star contenders, Giratina V-Star is pretty, pretty strong. 
but the only downside to that attack though is that it's very limited in its use but that's basically all you need you know because you are putting a bunch of energies in the lost zone but you know the game's not gonna last that long basically they're gonna roxanne um so that puts us down to two cards yes two cards um that's okay because we have Gallade, we can get Iono or something to get us the cards we need. So our setup is is pretty solid here. We're, we're I think it's pretty solid. My opponent has four cards left in their deck too, so they could just deck out here. And they're gonna use their V-Star power attack, knocking out our Miyoskarada EX just like that. It's crazy. And we're not dealing enough damage to knock out their Giratina V-Star either, so. Just gonna work at this four beetle line and can use buddy catch to get boss's orders is good i can target their giratina v it's easier to knock out primal turbo and just put double turbo energy to meowskarada and then Intellion to deal uh, two damage counters. That's gonna get us two prizes this turn. So uh, with this, I think we are looking good. 200 damage, 220 total, knocking out their Giratina V, two more prizes for us. And we have a basic energy, so we can even use that and deal some chip damage. Maybe on their Cramorant. Hmm, okay, so here's here's the plan, right? They need two more prizes left. They're probably just gonna target Armeos Karada, hoping to get a knockout here, but they're not going to be able they're not going to be able to because uh, they can only deal as much as 280 damage. Sableye can spread damage, they can knock out our Dotler, but that's it. But that could go a long way though. If they No, they're gonna deal 280 damage. I was gonna say if they knock out our Dotler. Uh, and then deal some damage to our other uh, Pokemon. They could get a knockout, but... Um, Alright, we're going to use Buddy Catch. Get our Cheryl. So that we can use... Uh, we can full heal, right? That's the plan. We can just energize our Meowskarada with Archeops. And then... Just deal a knockout to... Maybe they're Sableye. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put double triple energy to Armias Karada. I can deal some chip damage to this Giratina V. And then. Yeah, Sableye seems to be the best target here. But having damage on Giratina V star is actually. The better option, I think. So I'm going to put quick shooting, 5 damage counters on Giratina V, and 80 damage to their active. So I think this is the better option because now both of their main attackers have some damage counters on it. And what's going to happen here is uh, if we're dealing 200 damage, we can knock out their active. Uh, and then we can potentially deal a knockout blow to their other Giratina V-Star as well. But if we put damage counter with Inteleon, that's making... Uh, that's only 70 damage counters. So what I could do is retreat my Meow's Karada somehow. And then switch it back out. And then accelerating just regular energies... So that the damage output is not going to be lowered by double turbo energy. So they're just going to attack with lost impact. And I think that's that's it. There's no other way for them to get out of this situation. We only need one prize card left. And yeah, there you have it, guys. <laughs> Meows Karada wins this match. So just as an assurance here.
We're just gonna put damage counter to their active and scratching nails, dealing 200, 300 total damage against this Giratina V Star matchup, getting us our last prize for the win. <laughs> All right, very good game. Dude, I can't believe we won that one. Good game. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel, and as always, stay safe and have a great day.